Welcome to Bari Farm. I'm Olipo Elvis and today I'm going to take you through step by step in the post through the process of extraction extraction of slime and uh, I'm going to tell you the things that you need to use and the things that you should not use to get high quality slime. So welcome. So before we begin let me say that uh, the best snail species for slime is Achatina folica. And even in this case, for demonstration and learning purposes, I'm going to use Achatina folica. So there are uh, five major things that uh, we are going to cover. We have mixing the solution, cleaning, spraying, sieving, and packaging. Now we begin with the solution. Now before we get to the mixing of the solution, uh, slime is that, uh, is that water that snails do produce. Don't mix it up or confuse it with the, the blood. Snails also do have blood and it is bluish in color. They have blue blue blood. And this blue blood, you get it when you break the shell at the end or at the apex. But uh, slime is that liquid which they normally produce. It is colorless, actually. When you look at it from with the naked eyes, it is colorless. So snails normally produce this water in three conditions one to aid their movement that slimy thing that looks like a mucus you know snails move by the means of vibration they vibrate and so when they vibrate they can slide so they use that to smoothen their path so that uh, when they vibrate it helps them to slide and that is how they move. Two, the slime they produced when they are endangered. And three, they produce slime when they are happy. So the best way to get slime from snails is to make them happy so that they can give you maximum. And that's what most of these big companies use. But uh, it is a bit, a bit technical and it requires big machines that you can improvise yours. But today I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about subjecting snails to stress. Not a harmful stress, but just a little stress so that they give you the slime. You see, there are some predators that feed on them. So when they feel endangered, they produce this liquid to keep away the, the enemy. Again, snails do not like to be subjected to any kind of chemical. So when you subject them to any kind of chemical, you see some of these chemicals are acidic and uh, they, they hate acid. That's why s some people, when they want to get rid of snails, they pour salt on them. And whenever you pour salt on a snail, it will react by producing this liquid. Uh, some people will assume that it kills them. Though it kills them, but maybe if you only use it in large quantities. What it, the snail does is that it does not turn to water. Snail cannot turn into water whatsoever because it is flesh. What it does is that it produces this lime to neutralize the acidity. So in our case, we're going to use citric acid and the citric acid is a very weak acid that cannot harm the snail so when they 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 are subjected to citric acid they they produce slime to neutralize it and through that you collect the slime now what you need is just uh, water and a hand spray you can use any type of hand spray for demonstration purposes i'm going to use this small small uh, hand spray over here and 
this about uh, I think 400 millimeters so okay now back to mixing the solution you have to get the right citric the right amount of citric and mix it with water only these two things water and citric is all, is all you need so once you mix them in the right quantity or in the right portion then you get the right solution for a slime extraction but before you begin the process you have to clean the snails so you can see I have two two baskets here one the gray one containing the dirty ones and then we have the bluish one where we have the clean snails now there are two ways of cleaning a snail one you can use a running water the tap but if you are not having a running water or a tap you can use a basin like here we are going to use a basin so you just pour water into the basin then you dip the the snails into the basin uh, once they are in the basin you can take a small sponge mattress sponge just a soft a soft thing or a piece of cloth that is very soft then you gently clean the shell the reason as why you have to clean the shell is that you see when you are going to extract the slime they can mix up with the dirt and uh, that brings contamination and that's what we don't want so we want it purely as it should be pure so it is good or it is advisable that you first clean them either with the running water or in a basin then you rinse if you are using a basin then use two basins one to clean them and then you have to rinse them again now after rinsing them put them back into such like things that i'm having here though these are not very clean so once they are inside there uh, they will eliminate all the water that might have remained on them after cleaning so that when you are doing the extraction it will not mix up with the water okay now you can see we have two trays the first one we have the dirty one and now in the second phase we have the clean ones so this is what you should have they are uh, okay normally when you subject them to water they get excited and uh, in the other technology that is used to extract slime they just subject them to the same temperature to the same condition only that they lower the temperature so when the temperature is lowered then they, they become very happy I'm giving a tip here that you can use to make your own machine you lower the temperature to some extent and then you they also like vibration so they feel like like the when they are swinging so you can make something that makes them vibrate at the same time uh, the temperature is low remember I said that uh, they move through vibration therefore it means when they feel that vibration and they are active now the temperature makes them active the lower temperature when they are active and then they feel that vibration automatically they they will think that they are moving so they will be producing the the slime all right so that is the method used by these big companies that produce a lot of uh, slime but in now in our case because we cannot afford that for now for now uh, let us go with this so after cleaning them and now we are ready with our solution you can either use this one here or you can use this one it doesn't matter they are both citric and they have the same content so you can either choose this one or this one now after making a solution you what do you do with the solution now when they are they have already been cleaned 
you put them in a, a clean basin then you spray the solution to them when you spray the solution to them they will start producing the slime so i've heard of some people saying that it doesn't work it works and through that method i collected this one here and others that i will show you later now for it to work for you effectively don't overdo it just spray the solution to the snails uh, about 10 seconds then leave them for about 10 minutes or 5 minutes again spray for another 10 seconds then you leave them for some minutes about 10 minutes again again you spray for 10 seconds then you leave them if you do this for about four times it's just enough or five times just enough then you release the the snails back to their pen yeah and i recommend that after okay what i normally do is that after doing this process i again take them back to water to clean them if there be any any citric still remaining on them so that it won't affect them this method is 100% effective and will not kill any of them unlike salt salt can kill them but if you use this method then they are safe so after doing that this is what you will have this is how a slime a liquid slime looks like I also have dry slimes but I'm not going to show you that one here and uh, also the process of extracting dry slime or how you can make this liquid slime a dry one so after that this is what you get yeah so you can see this one has got some impurities up here actually they're not impurities these are also slime but now they have solidified fidogo so you can sieve them then you have purely liquid thank you so much for watching and uh, if you have any queries or if you want any of our products then just give us a call or text us again if you are looking for more information about how to keep your snails or uh, services check below for other links of other videos thank you so much